When we hear the word hero, we usually think of adults who fought in battle or otherwise somehow sacrificed their lives for their countries, or maybe they've achieved great things that average people like us wouldn't even dare to attempt. But anyone can be a hero, and that includes young, innocent children. In the video today, we're looking at 10 kids who showed exemplary bravery and heroism, and their courageous acts should challenge us to change our understanding of what the word hero truly means. Number 10. Yehaven Gonzalez. He climbed a mountain to save his family. In 2012, an accident in Globe, Arizona almost killed Yehaven Gonzalez and his family. They were driving along the highway when their car went off the road and fell off a mountain cliff. Yehaven was with his grandfather, sister, and pregnant mother, and while all of them survived, they were in need of serious medical assistance. Yehaven called 911, but instead of waiting for the officers to come, he decided to climb the steep mountain to seek help. The officers admitted that had Yehaven not climbed the mountain, they would have never found his family, since the vehicle was so far down the mountain. Officer Michael Fink added, I know most adults would not have been able to do what he did. As a reward for his heroism, he was given a Tim Tebow jersey and a bike. Score? Number 9. Tamar Boggs freed a young girl from her abductor. Tamar Boggs made headlines when he rescued five year old Jocelyn Roas from her abductor. Tamar was hanging out with his friends when he heard a girl from their neighborhood had been kidnapped, and they immediately volunteered to search for the missing girl. Tamar spotted a suspicious vehicle, and when he looked in the passenger seat, he saw Jocelyn. Tamar and his friend Chris chased the car for more than 10 minutes. The abductor got scared and decided to let Jocelyn go, who then ran towards Tamar and said that she needed her mummy. When he was interviewed, Tamar said, It was just out of heart. It wasn't to get any attention or anything. It was just trying to help somebody in the community, help make sure another little life was okay, and make sure her future could be possible. Then he tipped his hat and disappeared into a sunset, presumably. Number 8. Anaya Tucker saved her sister from an oncoming truck. In 2011, nine-year-old Anaya Tucker almost died when she saved her five-year-old sister Camry from an oncoming truck. The truck came bearing down on the sisters as they were crossing the street on their way to the school bus. In an act of love and bravery, Anaya pushed her younger sister out of the way and took a nasty hit for her effort. Anaya survived, but lost a leg and a kidney. When asked about her act, she said, Camry was too young to be hit like this, and if she got hit, she wouldn't hardly be alive. She would probably be gone forever. I love her so much. Number 7. Timmy Miles saved his siblings from a burning car. Timmy Miles was 12 years old when he saved his siblings from a burning car. In 2011, Timmy's mum, Galen Miles, took him and his siblings to an isolated area of Cibola County, New Mexico. She forced them to take a huge amount of pills before taking the same medication herself. After a few minutes, they were all unconscious, and Galen was out of the running for any Mother of the Year awards. The car was still running, and after a few hours, it caught fire. Timmy woke up before the fire spread through the vehicle, but his attempt to extinguish it was unsuccessful. He and his siblings suffered first-degree burns and smoke inhalation, but they survived. Unfortunately, their mother died, although authorities expect that Galen was already dead before the car started burning. Number 6. Angelica Riggins saved her dad from their burning house. In 2009, Angelica Riggins' house caught on fire. Thanks to a Dalmatian named Sparkles, Angelica saved not only her life, but her father's as well. Angelica was six years old and, not long before the accident, was present during a safety seminar held at her school. Sparkles, the dog, demonstrated to the children what to do in case a fire started. Fortunately, Angelica paid close attention and was able to apply what she had learned when her house caught on fire. During the night of the accident, Angelica got on the ground and crawled outside of her burning house just like Sparkles had taught her. She then went to a nearby house to ask for help. Her dad was still inside the burning house, but thanks to Angelica's quick and calm thinking, firefighters arrived and rescued her dad. Number 5. Tom Phillips drove a tractor to save his dad from a bull. Tom Phillips was 10 years old when he saved his dad from a raging bull. Tom and his dad, Andrew, were looking after their cattle when a bull suddenly attacked them. The animal charged at Andrew and tossed him into the air. Andrew was then mauled by the animal as he lay unconscious on the ground. Tom knew that he needed to do something or his dad was going to die. He jumped into the family's tractor and drove straight towards the bull. Tom was forbidden from using the tractor, but given the circumstances, we doubt anyone would have objected. He succeeded in pushing away the bull and saving his dad's life, and Andrew only spent two weeks in the hospital. Even though he was a hero, Tom's primary concern after the accident was his mum finding out that he had driven the tractor. He said, Please don't tell my mum, she'll tell me off for driving the tractor. His mum's response, He's my little hero, and I can't tell you how proud I am of him. 
Number 4. Samantha Christian saved her family from their burning mobile home. In 2012, a girl named Samantha Christian from Apache Junction, Arizona, managed to save her family from a house fire by staying calm and collected. A portable air conditioning unit in Samantha's room caught fire, but Samantha didn't panic. She ran to her mother and siblings and woke them up. Samantha's mum, LeBaker Christian, poured water on the fire while Samantha worked to save her brother's lives. First, she dragged eight-year-old Brendan out of the burning home and into their neighbor's house. She then went back to save her other brother, Mike. Samantha tried to wake him up, but he just wouldn't come to. So, without hesitating, she picked him up and threw him over her shoulder, taking him to safety. Her mother eventually got out alive as well. If not for her courage and calm thinking, her family may well have perished. Number 3. Alexis Goggins used her body as a shield to save her mum. Many of us have heard the stories about parents who are willing to sacrifice their lives for their children, but how many of us have heard of children who are willing to sacrifice their lives for their parents? It's rare, but that's exactly what Alexis Goggins did in 2007. The seven-year-old used her body as a shield to save her mum's life from a gunman, Calvin Tilly, who had been dating Salitha Parker for six months before trying to break up with her with extreme prejudice. Alexis, Salitha, and Calvin were in a car when Calvin took out a gun and shot Salitha in the side of the head. Before he could fire again, Alexis jumped over the seat between Calvin and her mum, begging him to stop. He shot the girl six times anyway, but miraculously, they survived while Calvin was later apprehended by the police. Number 2. Tyler Dewan died while trying to save his grandfather not all heroic kids make it out alive. Tyler Dewan died while trying to take his disabled grandfather from a burning mobile home in upstate New York. Tyler was only eight years old when he saved the lives of six people, including children aged four and six. However, he lost his life while trying to save his grandfather. According to official reports, Tyler was the first one who noticed a fire in his grandfather's mobile home. He woke up six of his family members, and once he knew that all six were safe, Tyler went back in to help his disabled grandfather get out of the blazing trailer. Sadly, neither of them survived. When the fire was extinguished, the firefighters saw Tyler and his grandfather's bodies on a bed. Tyler was trying to lift his grandfather out of the burning mobile home. Number 1. Aitazaz Hassan Bangash died while tackling a suicide bomber. Had it not been for 14 year old Bangash, many children would have been killed in a terrorist attack in Pakistan. Bangash lost his life when he tackled a suicide bomber who was determined to kill students gathered for their morning assembly at their school. According to his cousin, a man dressed in a school uniform approached him and asked him where their school was. Aitazaz became suspicious and challenged the man. When Aitazaz grabbed the bomber, he panicked and set off the bomb, killing them both and preventing the death of many more. His cousin described the act as a great sacrifice to save the lives of hundreds of both Shia and Sunni students. Pakistanis across the country hailed his act of heroism on social media. So I hope you found that video inspirational. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos every day of the week. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch right now or actually listen to, why not check out my podcast? It's called Brain Food. It's a little longer format than the YouTube videos. You can just, just search Brain Food on any podcast platform, one word, and you find it. Check that out. Let me know what you think. Also, as I said, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.